Welcome back everyone to another episode of Valheim. We are currently missing a few black cores before we can make the final crafting station. This means that we'll have to venture into a third infested mine so we can collect not only the black cores, but also the sealed fragments so we can gain access to the Forsaken Queen. Luckily, on some of my little farming runs in search of food, I managed to find a few abandoned places where we might be able to find an entrance to an infested mine. Here we are, and of course it wouldn't be an adventure in Valheim without the constant rain pouring down from the skies, granting us a stamina deep off while we are traveling. Anyway, let's take a closer look, and hopefully this place will provide us with an entrance to an infested mine. And of course, since we are near a dwarven structure, we can also hear one of those annoying buckelins flying around. But as long as I don't have to see them or fight them, I don't mind hearing them. Let's hope we will encounter some seekers now, because that usually means that they are guarding an entrance. Oh, I hear something. And now I see something. But I only see one seeker. But hey, maybe they're on their way. They're just a little bit slow. Ah, good, I see another one. This one won. This is good. But they are usually around four seekers defending an entrance, so let's see. I see no one from behind. So yeah, let's go inside and check. Maybe there is an entrance. Oh no. Oh, this is a bust. Okay, let's search around it. Maybe the entrance is on the side? I don't know. Usually when there's no entrance in the bottom, usually means that there's nothing. What about here? Yeah, this one is just an empty shell. Oh, oh, no mind. <laughs> oh well. We have more places to search. Let's try and see if we can find another one. Our next location isn't too far away from here, so let's hope that at least this one has an entrance. And by the way, if I missed something on the previous location, please let me know. The box may have secrets I do not yet understand. And while we're at it, if you enjoy the content so far, please smash the like button. I appreciate all of your support. Anyway, enough of that. Let's continue the adventure. Nice, we have an entrance. Strangely enough, this place wasn't guarded by any seekers. But maybe they're further down the staircase here. If not, it's the first. Well, only one way to find out. Seekers, here we come. So far so good. We haven't heard anything at least. And here's the entrance. Infested mine. Okay, this room really reminds me of the last one. Yeah, it's almost identical. Except for the sealed room on our right. Not that I'm complaining though. This place is for the box to ambush. Oh, we have a seeker there. Let's fall back to where we have a bit more room to fight on. This time, it may not have had any stars on it, but you never really know what will follow shortly after. And if you've seen some of my other videos with the infested mines, or tried yourself, then you've probably experienced how suddenly one can turn to five. It sounds like we still have one or two hiding behind the wall. Yep, we have at least one more. Smashing time! Oh, I haven't forgotten about you! Uh-oh. That was probably not the best idea. Yeah, let's change back to the sword. Nice, I do see a seal fragment and two black cores. Looks clear to me. Some royal jelly, that's nice. Okay, this looks like a hammer issue. Much easier. Oh, looks like we don't have enough space. Let's throw this away. Wow, I really brought a lot of useless stuff with me. This and the wood as well. This should give us enough room for the things that we actually need. So the first room, two cores and a fragment, not bad. And we also have one up here, so that makes two. So I think we actually already have enough for the table. Ah, uh, <laughs> come on. One more try, before it becomes a hammer issue of course. Ooh, speaking of hammer. Yeah, boom! And yes, just in case you're wondering, the sound effects are indeed necessary. It just never gets old. Right, we have some jelly. Oh, and we still have two small creatures we haven't killed yet. Let's just use the sword because we don't want to damage the wall. And then we'll just continue down here because the pathway is already opened. We should probably use the sword here as well because I don't want to open up to another pathway. Ah. <sighs> You know what? Never mind. Yeah, you see that? That's you in a second. I mean, once I get my stamina, of course. Huh? Boom! Oh, you want something too, huh? No problem, I won't discriminate. Empty, empty. Oh, we have another way here. Hmm. 
One, two, two seekers. Means hammer time. Her boom. And the coward. Oh yeah. One last time. You know what? You get one more. <laughs> ah, this is fun. Right, I think we are done down here. Now we just have the entire upper floor to search, but at least they won't suddenly appear from down here and ambush me. But sadly, we didn't find any sealed fragments down here. Let's wait with those two and start with the wooden one. Oh, not there. There it is. Alright, what is hiding behind door number one? Um, hello? Free stuff apparently. But it does sound like we have one seeker down there, but if it's anything like the last one, then there's nothing down there except for a seeker slowly drowning, and we don't really care about that. Yep, I knew it. Yeah, let's just go back and open one of the gates. Well, hello there! Oh! No! Okay, what happened? Hammer time it is! Okay, okay, you made your point. There's definitely a bunch of them there. Alright, let's pop the buff, and then we retreat till we get some more stamina. Oh no, you don't. Take this and that. Oh, crap, crap, crap. I need stamina. Not good, not good. Oh, wait, I have a stamina potion. Not today, box. Ah, semi safe space for the win. By Odin's beard. Is this a hammer moment? Oh, you know what? Never mind. Those roots are the only thing keeping them off me right now. Wait, did you just kick me out of the dungeon? Well, we'll just see about that. Kicking me out, will ya? Round two. Yeah, that won't work twice. Huh. Up, up. Let's test out the crossbow. Oh yeah. So, who's the first to die? Oh, really? You know what? Screw this. Oh god, you got to be kidding me. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. I'm being trolled by flying bugs. We go in and we smash. Alright bugs, this is it for you. And one more. And the third one. Oh, you like that, huh? And what about one more? And the last one. Okay, two there. Come on, we take this. Oh, three more. Wow, how many were there? Well, at least none was us. Now bow. Phew. Is it just me or is there always that one room with like 15 of these guys? There's still box here? At least there is a fragment and some cores and... Oh god, my stamina! Yeah, one moment, one moment. And here I thought you hated me. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's hope these are the last ones. Ah, stamina, 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 stamina. And denied. So are you gonna participate or are you just gonna... I think we got a clever one here. Well, I mean, clever for one of these guys, right? Oh yes, more black cores and seal fragments. Now we just need to- Oh god! You see, this is why you always keep the path clear. So this doesn't happen. Alright, so we have two black cores here and another seal fragment. We definitely have enough now. And this is where he came from, so I'm guessing there's more to it. Yeah, I do hear more noise. Hello? Any box here? I guess we haven't been here. And of course this was also a dead end. But I know for a fact that there are still a few places that we haven't been at yet. Especially downstairs, I see. Oh, we have two Seekers here. That means AoE. No, wait, there's another one. Alright, let's get to work. Sorry guys for bashing in like that. But I have to get the co- Okay, I kinda asked for that. Oh well. Could you fellas come out please? Yeah, that's right. Die! And by the way, thank you so much for recommending that I should try out this weapon. Without you folks, I would have never even considered trying it. Utterly destroying groups of enemies with this thing is probably some of the best times I've had so far in the Mistlands. If only I had this thing when I was fighting all the goblins. But I guess now that I think about it, there must be a lower tire of this one, right? Oh, hello there. This has got to be the last room, right? And apparently not, because we have another pathway here. 
All right, what is behind this door? Sealed off room or whatever we call it. Yeah, nice try, Tix. Nice try. But I'm actually prepared for this for once. Sealed off. Sealed off as well. And sealed off. Yeah, I guess this is a dead end. I'm pretty sure that the only place left for us to go is down the stairs. Yeah, down here. This is a fragment we saw earlier. And ooh, a secret room. Come on, treasure. We have some minor stamina potions. But we already got a bunch of medium ones, so we don't really need it. Golden sausages. I mean, gold is always good. Over the past few episodes, we have completely neglected collecting a bunch of it. But with what we currently have in our inventory, I just don't see anything low of value. Now that the mine is cleared, let's see what we got out of it. We got six seal breaker fragments. That gotta be good. And we also got five black cores. I think that we already had three cores back at the camp, so now it should be more than enough for us to make the last crafting table. Let's just place it here at the corner. Wait, did I just unlock the crafting table again? Oh hey, Hugin. Seal breaker. Anything else? Staff of protection. Dead racer. Oh, this is magic. All right, Hugin, I'll listen. What can you tell me about this crafting station we have here? Trying your hand at scrying the runes, are you? I'm impressed, sorcerer. Wait, sorcerer? Charms and conjurations will take their toll. If you wish to master the arts, you must find the appropriate sustenance. As it happens, the parts around here are looking ripe with all sorts of delicious new ingredients together. Lucky you! Yeah, I feel like this is one of those... And what, Hugin? Do I have to give in return? Everything! Kind of moment. Okay, we definitely got one of those flying bugglins flying around right now. Be right back. Right, that took care of him. That flying thing was moving closer and closer, and I just knew that the moment we started inspecting the crafting station, that guy would fly over and ha ha ha, F you, player. And of course, we need a roof for this thing. It's not going to win any beauty contest, but it will get the job done. We can always change it later, but for now, let's see what this crafting station has to offer. What do we have here? We got some armor, but definitely not a lot of it. 40% ether regeneration, but with a 2% movement penalty. And the legs are pretty much the same, except for the cost. And ooh, feather cape. Fall damage minus 100%. Ho ho ho, we are definitely crafting that thing. One piece of feather cape coming up. Alright, let's see how it looks. Stats are almost as important, but not quite as important. Okay, it's a little bit difficult seeing it with this lighting. It's definitely unique, and it screams Hugin and Moonin all over it, but yeah, not bad. We didn't just unlock armor though, we also unlocked a bunch of magical weapons. The Dead Racer. Here we can summon skeletons to fight for us. Kinda like a necromancer. And then we have the Staff of Protection. This one grants us a bubble. I can definitely see a use for that. If we can also buff your friends, imagine the group play with this. And then we have the Staff of Frost, just in case you ever wanted to become a Frost Mage here in Valheim. We have seen enemies here in Valheim using Frost Nova and such, so maybe we can too. And finally, the Staff of Embers. This is the Fire Mage option, and if we can get those target tracing fireballs, that would be great. The last item we'll craft today is the Seal Breaker, because we have collected more than enough seal fragments to be able to forge the Seal Breaker key. This will allow us to enter the chambers of the Queen's Lair, which is currently also Valheim's last boss. Once we have managed to kick her off the throne, we have done all we can to please Odin, for now. <laughs>